making the woman work. Hi, we're back again, and this time, as I promised, I'm going to show you how I get started on spinning out the sheep wool from the previous video of me cleaning it out. So we have about half a bag here to spin up. So the first step is, is get your string on here. This is going to help you get the wool started on here. So I have my little hook. I'm gonna put it right through this hole and up through the side hole right here. And I'm gonna grab the string and pull through. So now the string is through the front here, okay? Now I'm fairly new at this, so there's probably going to be better ways. There's a lot more people that are better at this than me, but I'm going to show you what I know to try to help you out, okay? So I always start with going clockwise. And that way when I go to ply it, which I'll show you a little bit in a little bit, I go counterclockwise. Now plying means when you're taking two strands and connecting them together. So you get this spun up, you don't have to let it go in there, just hold on to it. And you start putting your wool on there. And me, I kinda pinch it to try to get it to hold on better. Cause there's so many times where it didn't hold on very good and I had to redo it and redo it. So there's a couple of tricks that I've learned. And you just kinda, you hold on it here you don't have a tight hold on it and you feed it through with your other hand you want to try to really watch it and keep it going slow so that you try to get the same amount going in there so it's a nice steady thickness throughout the whole yarn see a little bit of a chunk there but that's okay like I said in my previous video I'm not going to be selling this this is for learning and experimental use um, my kids and I are dyeing the wool with natural dyes and we're gonna be playing with some food coloring and some kool-aid so that's what this wool is gonna go for because it's not the best quality but I tell you what, even if you get a hold of some with some scurf in it, go ahead and try to clean it out as best as you can. Uh, it's how to do it is in my previous video. And you can use it for yourself to experiment with so you don't have to worry about destroying your good yarn, your, your good wool, per se. Per se. We've been having a lot of fun experimenting and playing around. As a matter of fact, my oldest Kaylee is going to be making a poster about dyed wool. Okay, so you see all these hooks here? The reason why they're there is they hold the wool so it, it'll wind up in a certain area. Now, usually when I start with a new chunk of wool, I like to move it back a hook. Um, I also keep it on the hook that's ahead of it it just helps keep it in place better. Otherwise, there's been quite a few times where it has fallen off. So you don't want to keep moving the wool, the yarn, all the way down to the end. And I work it back and forth, back and forth. So to get it started again, start spinning it up. Just kind of add it in to this wool. And there you go. Got it going again. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll have to do a video on Angora wool. Uh, I'll have to give that a try. Um, I haven't spun that up in a little while because I've been busy with this. Uh, it's always, it was the first thing I learned how to use. And I thought it was easy. And then I started working with sheep wool and other types of wool that was blended with Angora rabbit. 
and tried to go back to Angora Rabbit, just the Angora Rabbit, and it was a lot harder than what I thought. Um, so yeah, if you if you want to work with Angora Rabbit, you have to make sure that you keep going back to it and working on it, otherwise you're going to lose your touch. I've talked to many people who have dealt with that as well, so I know I'm not the only one. Just add that on. Keep going. You can see it's looking quite nice. So this is going to be, I'm going to get one about this size so I can apply them together. So I'm going to fill this up to be about this size. So that's going to take quite a bit. It's going to take probably most of this wool that I have in this bag. And then, this is what it'll look like after we take it off. And this will be what it looks like before we make it into a ball of yarn. Um, I do not have a ball winder yet. I've been doing it all by hand. Um, if you want to see that, I guess I can do a video on how I do it. Um, probably the old-fashioned way. But that's what it looks like in the end. So I'm going to pause this and fast forward onto something else. And show you how it looks when it's done. And then show you how to apply it. Alright? Alright? <laughs> 